Hello world, my name is Dr. Kulamit Kunlis and I'm a primary care physician. Thank you for joining me in this video. Today is a very exciting day in liver health. A new medication which we have been awaiting for NASH has been approved. The new medication is Refdesra. This medication is life-changing. It will stop or prevent scarring or fibrosis in the liver. Today in the United States, but 8 to 10 million people are suffering from this disease as pandemic of obesity, metabolic syndrome, and type 2 diabetes mellitus is increasing. We are having more and more people who have been suffering from fatty liver leading to cirrhosis of the liver. NASH is the number one reason for liver transplant. Let's understand what NASH is. When we become obese, there is a deposition of fat into liver cells. That is called fatty liver. Fatty liver has consequences. Not everyone who has fat deposition will develop cirrhosis of the liver, but there are some genetic predisposition, the lifestyle of which and the environment can lead to increased incidence of scarring, leading to cirrhosis of the liver, liver failure, liver cancer, and death. What happens once there is fat deposition in the liver cells. Fat is an irritant and it creates inflammation in the liver cells that leads to scarring and cirrhosis. Liver is the organ which detoxifies everything. When cirrhosis happens, we lose the function, both synthetic, excretory, and also the filtration part, and we suffer con severe consequences. As a society, we are getting obese and the incidence of NASH has been increasing. This drug, Refdesra, when taken on daily basis in a tablet form, will stop and halt the inflammation in the liver cells and prevent scarring and ultimately cirrhosis and all complications. How does this medication works? This medication has a very unique mechanism of action. Our liver cells have receptors for thyroid hormone. This medication acts on those receptors and stops the inflammation, leading to prevention of inflammation and eventually prevention of uh, cirrhosis of the liver. How do we diagnose NASH? As I've alluded, it's a very common disease and there is no classic symptoms which could be attributed to NASH. We only diagnose it by diagnosis of suspicion, meaning as a physician, we screen everybody with the blood test and if the liver tests are high, we start the further investigation and we may find the reasons for your elevated liver function test, but there is no specific symptoms which are attributed to NASH. The liver function tests are very non-specific tests and it could be high due to multiple reasons, but now, there is a new blood test which has been approved and we have been using as a part of your screening. It is called liver fibrosis index, which is a normal blood test and most of the primary care physicians order it as a part of your routine testing. If that index is high, we start very targeted approach and it helps us to diagnose NASH. The gold standard to diagnose NASH is liver biopsy or you take a piece of the liver we check it under the microscope other tests like mri and ultrasound and cat scan they have never been proven to be very helpful as far as screening is concerned i think the blood test indicating the fibrous index may be have some potential to be of clinical use which we could use in mass in general i think in liver health Today is a great day. I truly believe we will be able to diagnose NASH at a proper stage and then also we will be able to prevent its progression with the medications. NASH is a disease of obesity and poor lifestyle changes and consuming processed and ultra processed foods. If we want to prevent this disease from the beginning, we must stop consuming process and ultra processed food, regular exercise, proper sleep hygiene. We have a tool now which we could help. This medication should not be taken as panacea which will correct our problem. 
our problem of nash comes from our lifestyle if we fix our lifestyle i truly believe we will be able to prevent lot of complications so let's all join together change our lifestyle now with the proper medications and treatment we should be able to prevent progression of disease and prevent cirrhosis of the liver i hope this video was helpful please do not forget to subscribe to our channel this will help us to keep us motivated so that we could keep on producing this educational content thank you very much